So hi, Mike Rob Hunter here. Well, uh, I've received a question, a rather long one. Well, actually, it's not a question. It's more uh, like a request for help. Um, it's uh, two pages long. Uh, it is microscopy related, um, after all. Uh, so please bear with me. I think it's a pretty important uh, topic. It's not a very bright topic, and I'm also not able to give uh, very satisfying advice, maybe even. Uh, but I think it's pretty important, the topic, and therefore I decided uh, to talk about it uh, in this channel here. So I'm going to read off uh, the question, okay? My wife has an illness for three years now, and at countless doctors and emergency room visits, we've been to cannot pinpoint the problem. It's getting progressively worse, and I'm scared for her. I think uh, it could be either mycotoxins or formaldehyde poisoning. She thinks it's a parasite, and one doctor says it points towards an autoimmune disease. The last three doctor appointments have been cancelled by the doctor and uh, pushed months ahead. She hasn't seen, she hasn't been at a doctor since March, and they cancelled the last two and now another one. She won't be seen till late July now. We aren't financially able to get better help, and I'm uh, tired of waiting for them to help us. I've done so much research on her symptoms and condition that I could probably start my own practice, in parentheses, an inappropriate sarcasm. The point is, um, I need a microscope powerful enough to see what's going on inside her body to move forward in seeking help for her. It's clear that hospitals and doctors aren't concerned or even keeping their word on appointments, seeing how they can just cancel them back to back to back. Maybe you can point me in the right direction. If not, um, I'll still continue to watch your videos and others as well. I'd like to know what else to do. Apologize if I came off as rude. I'm just frustrated and stressed and worried and I've uh, become a bit bitter to the world in general. You have good intentions and your videos are very helpful regardless of what I'm talking about. Keep up uh, the good work, man. First of all, thank you very much uh, for um, your comment and maybe also for the trust <laughs> that you're giving, um, giving me here. Uh, I, I just want to uh, start off a little bit more general here. Uh, and I simply cannot um, uh, re re restrain myself making this comment. This is so frustrating to actually see that uh, medical help uh, is dependent on finances. Okay, I don't want to get political here, but uh, me living in Europe here, this uh, sounds like a different, I don't know, a different planet, a different solar system. This is so, I personally consider this so wrong uh, that uh, uh, medical help uh, is dependent on financial abilities. Uh, yeah, but that's not the point that I want to talk about here. Um, more generally, um, I've received already in the past several um, comments or emails uh, about people asking um, about which microscope to buy uh, to uh, actually do self-diagnosis, medical self-diagnosis. And I've always said, don't do that. Uh, microscopes won't help you. It's dangerous. Uh, it gives you false hopes. Go find a doctor that treats you, a real doctor, not some kind of non-real doctor who claims to be a doctor, but a real doctor. Um, that's what I've always said, and all of a sudden I'm receiving over here a comment where somebody wants to see doctors, uh, a doctor, and can't. <laughs> it, that, that, that's what I consider ironic. Yeah? Uh, so you see that I'm a little bit uh, cornered right now, so uh, I'm a little bit speech, uh, speechless uh, myself here. Okay. So you finally have got some folks who, who wants to, um, uh, to get medical treatment and, and, and they can't because for whatever other reasons. And uh, so what we're seeing here right now is, is uh, that people start to do uh, self-diagnosis. It's something that is not very uncommon. As a matter of fact, it's very common. Um, and people now kind of uh, project their hopes and desires and, 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 uh, and uh, that basically that they are figure, able to figure out what the problem is. They're trying to project it into a microscope. If I can find, have a microscope, then I'm able to put my body parts under the microscope and then I'm able to figure out uh, what the problem is. If the doctors or if the medical system or the medical establishment is not able or willing to help me or if I'm not able to pay for it, okay? Um, then I got to fix it myself. Yeah? And, and, and this is a problem uh, it, because it doesn't work like this because microscopes are not able in, to provide you with the necessary information to self-diagnose. And just want to give you an example here. You yourself essentially have already admitted uh, that you don't know what it is. You think it could be some kind of poisoning. Why mycotoxins or formaldehyde? There are thousands of other poisons around as well. Um, then she thinks it might be a parasite. Uh, then it could be an autoimmune disease. You, you have no clue. And then all of a sudden you want to uh, make a specific test using a microscope. Um, look, uh, I know this is a very, very bad analogy. A very bad analogy, but uh, please, uh, my intentions are good, okay? But it's a little bit like, like, like uh, if you have a car mechanic, for example, and your car doesn't start, 
um, yeah, and you turn the key and the car doesn't start and then you say, okay, um, the car doesn't start. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I don't know, some of the dirt and dust that I find uh, on the seat of my car under the microscope. <laughs> why, 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 why should this be, a, why should there be a connection, right? Um, again, I know this is a clumsy comparison, okay? But I mean, you see, uh, if you want to use a microscope to do medical diagnosis, you must already have some kind of an idea that say a person has symptoms of malaria and uh, you want to now confirm that, you can take a blood sample, do a, some standardized staining, and then yes, you are able to see malaria parasites under the microscope. But you already have an idea into which direction you're going. If a person has a, a, a tumor somewhere, you're able to do a biopsy. This means you take a little bit of a tissue from, from the tumor, and you put it under the microscope after some processing, and then you can see that by the shape of the cells, yes, it's indeed, uh, the, the cells look like uh, they're tumor cells. But again, here you have an idea. But if you have absolutely no idea, then uh, it, there is no point in using a microscope. What do you expect to see? Okay. Um, so the only advice that I can give you is, is please invest your energy and your time and your, your finances, um, in this case, in, in, into real medical treatment and not into false hopes. I know this is difficult for me to say as well, because I know that hope is something important. And sometimes people who are following false hopes maybe that this can also already help because it kind of uh, motivates them to carry on and, and, and it, it gives some kind of a positive emotions. I, I understand that. But uh, as a scientist, I have to say is, well, no, you should probably um, go the medical route nevertheless. Okay. Um, so having said that, um, I just also wanted to tell you uh, something else. I mean, um, yes, there are many diseases that are indeed difficult to diagnose, especially autoimmune diseases. Um, uh, I can only talk about multiple sclerosis right now. Is is uh, yeah? Um, is uh, sometimes what I read is is very different from person to person, and also the progression is very different. So it can be very difficult to kind of pinpoint uh, the problem because different people who have the same disease have different symptoms. So indeed, it is indeed the case that. Some diseases are kind of very difficult to diagnose until you found what it is. And in this case, I can only advise you that you stick to it and you continue your medical checkups until you've kind of narrowed it down. Okay. Um, now, because of the problem that medical um, treatment is not always uh, generally accessible to some people and because uh, some people are suffering from chronic problems uh, that they have for a long time, sometimes it helps a lot to kind of uh, make the things manageable by, by, by giving it some kind of a name. If you just know what it could be or what it is, even if you can't treat it, at least this kind of helps a little bit maybe managing the, the, the disease. So I get that. And, and this is, uh, has resulted in some kind of uh, strange, in my view, strange uh, things where people then think uh, that uh, whatever, they have some problems, some real problems, and they um, attribute it to, let's say, in this case, chronic Lyme disease. It's one of those diseases. It's not to be confused with regular real Lyme disease, but it's kind of chronic Lyme disease is kind of like the, the, like the dumping ground for all sorts of diseases. If you don't know what it is, you just, ah, it's chronic Lyme. And it kind of helps people to deal with it, even though it's not Lyme disease. Yeah? Scientifically not. Um, yeah, but if you now say to the people, well, actually, it's not Lyme, um, then, then uh, some people sometimes they are getting upset because you're kind of taking away the, the only hope that they had or the name of the disease, and then they're again uh, kind of hanging in the air, right? Um, so, uh, and that's a little bit uh, the problem that we have here. So I understand that, that um, the, the need or the wish or the desire of actually um, making things manageable by, by attaching a name to it, I understand that. Yeah? Um, but uh, it doesn't bring us forward, okay? Um, so the only thing that I can uh, can say here and, uh, and is, is the following, <laughs> it's maybe more commentary, the, the fact of, of, the, of the difficulty of medical access, yes, this has resulted in people actually following, um, also, yeah, n n people who claim that they're able to help, but actually they're not, like, like quackery, as, as it's called, yeah? medical fraud, it's uh, probably a more modern term. Um, and there are many cases uh, around like this where people are hopeless and then they're following some kind of a, a guru yeah, um, who claims to be able to help them. Yeah? Um, and um, sometimes microscopes are also used uh, in, in these cases. So um, because you're kind of saying it's, uh, you're being sarcastic, you could probably start your own practice. Well, there are actually people out there, and I do not recommend that you do that, and I beg you not to do that, who are actually doing that. <laughs> they're starting their own practice uh, because uh, this way they're kind of... Uh, um, yeah, covering all those people who are not able to get real medical help. 
Yeah. So I, I see this very critical as well, and and um, I'm sure that you do too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the the point that I'm trying to say here is, is um, and this frustrates me a little bit, is because I cannot give you um, um, any any really good advice other than than. Um, please invest your time and energy not into microscopes uh, for medical diagnosis by them because it's interesting to observe nature and the environment it's a great hobby and uh, this is also important yeah but please not to do any self-diagnosis okay this is also one of the reasons why in my web forum uh, that we have we have a very strict rule no medical um, no medical advice or questions are tolerated otherwise we're really going down into a rabbit hole Right, so many people out there who put their own body parts and, and whatever cells under the microscope, they see some kind of a contamination, which means nothing, and then they're worried already that they have some kind of a disease because they see something. Oh, come on, and then it turns out to be some kind of an impurity, a contamination, or whatever. Yeah? Um, so one has to be really careful because uh, once you start uh, putting stuff under the microscope, it's uh, um, you keep on interpreting everything that you see uh, to kind of support your idea that you have a certain disease. Okay, if you if you would think that you've got a parasite, or if you, that your wife's got a parasite, I'm gonna I almost guarantee you you're gonna find anything, and you think it's those parasites. Yeah. Um, so you keep on kind of this what you call confirmation bias. You keep on interpreting whatever you see to kind of support your theory that you have or your preconceived notion, and that's a really dangerous thing if you go into this direction, right? Um, so so um, yeah. Frustrating for me because I cannot give you a a, 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 a good answer. But then again, uh, I have to say say yeah. Unfortunately, it is something uh, not uncommon, uh, regardless of of how good the healthcare system of your country is. It's nothing uncommon that of course some diseases are kind of difficult to diagnose, uh, and uh, uh, we hear this all the time. Um, yeah, people essentially have a problem and they don't know what it is. Yeah, and uh, um, unfortunately. Yeah, that's uh, also one of the things that we have to live with and live uh, yeah, a certain degree of uncertainty and, uh, um, and I would say I don't know that's maybe buy yourself a microscope in any case uh, to, if you like the videos and if you like observing nature uh, get yourself a good distraction um, because uh, if you feel uh, yeah, not bitter about the world anymore as you said maybe microscopes help you to do that then I think uh, also your wife will benefit from that okay well okay I'm just gonna leave it at that now um, yeah leave your comments behind uh, if you um, have any comments here yeah all the best and uh, and bye bye